According to the North Carolina Department of Agriculture and Consumer Services, fish farming in North Carolina has been around for more than 50 years. We're the number two state in the nation in growing trout. For Dwayne Wilkie, the cool running waters of North Carolina's mountain streams provide the perfect growing environment. His hunting boy trout farm is located in Graham County, North Carolina's picturesque Appalachian Mountains. Dwayne can't imagine his trout business being located anywhere else. I started building a little market when I took over by myself and uh, I could get rid of all my fish and I needed more so I started buying fish from other people to satisfy that market. And pretty soon um, I was buying a whole lot of fish and selling them different places. Wilkie raises between a quarter and a half million pounds of trout per year. The stream of cool mountain water provides the source for his unique farming operation using the hilly terrain for his raceway system. There's a certain amount of fall between each raceway and that regenerates the oxygen between the raceways. Uh, as, as the water goes down toward the end of each raceway, the oxygen is depleted. And when it falls out of that raceway through a screen, it regenerates the oxygen and allows your next raceway to start off with good oxygen. It takes around a year to grow fish to the 14 to 18 ounce size that his market demands. Starting out, the marketing of his trout was not easy, but that's changed for the better over the years. The vast majority of them go to processing. They go to restaurants, grocery store chains, and things of that nature. There's more to raising trout than meets the eye. One of the problems is making sure you have a constant supply of fresh running water. The main thing would be your water could, water supply could be interrupted. Uh, storms, floods, leaves, uh, tree falls, uh, any number of things can happen to your water supply at your intake and you have to manage that on a daily basis. You have to be 100% dedicated to it. There's no such thing as a part-time trout farmer. By contrast, aquaculture operations at the other end of North Carolina are primarily involved in raising catfish, where you'll find traditional open ponds instead of cool water raceways. Brunswick County's Jackie Potter is retired from the phone company and has been raising catfish since the early 90s when he built his first pond. And I was just gonna build one to start with, and before they got through building that one, I said, well, I probably would have more than one. And one thing led to another, so I ended up with about 20 acres. Well, we almost 25 acres upon by the time I got through. Jackie Potter has also worked hard to market his catfish over the last 10 to 12 years, and mostly sells to just one processor now. Getting catfish to market takes a while. And usually I figure on the first of them coming out in summer's around a year from the time I put them in at a, a good market size from pound and a half to two pound fish. Potter says raising catfish is not all that difficult, but there are some unique problems. There's a lot to lose in a very short period of time if you're not careful. I find the majority of my problem, like I say, is the water quality through the summer months and, and watching that. I'm, is being sure your aeration equipment's in good operating shape, stays in shape. If it don't, you can you can lose so much so fast. It don't take for one mistake to, to lose a, a pond of fish or a big part of it. Despite the potential problems, just like others in farming, Potter enjoys what he's doing. My wife says it wasn't a real good idea. I think it was pretty good. And I feel like the fish is the most, the safest year in and year out. But uh, it, it, it's uh, all depends on what you want to put in and what you want to get out. But it's, 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 done, it's been a good experience. 